Hey guys, John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So we appreciate all you guys joining us and tuning in to this segment. And it's been a really popular segment with a lot of couples out there. Um, and lately especially because everybody's been isolated or the stay home, safer at home and curfews at home. and all these great things, right? So you guys are probably, you know, on top of each other all the time or around each other all the time. Um, and people are probably getting cabin fever. So we want to come up with good things inside of this Corona isolation that maybe you guys can put in place that will help you out relieve some tension and some stress between you two and actually build more of a bond. Because during this time, I mean, you know, a lot of people are spending time with a significant other or family mm -hmm. and they should really, you know, take it as a blessing to a certain degree because they should be building a bond or doing things with the family that maybe they didn't have time for in the past. Well, right? think about all the times you've been like, oh my goodness, I so wish I had more time to do this with my little one or man, I really wish I had time to go and do this or do this with my husband or set aside time to have a nice dinner. Yep. Now you have all the time in the world. Yep. So there's no excuse yes. and now you can do it. And with that, you know, with being with your partner on, on, in this isolation, Corona situation uh, and being on lockdown and with all the non-essential businesses not opened, um, depending on what your state you're in, you're probably not getting haircuts, it's guys and girls. You're not getting your hair colored, so those roots are showing, right? <laughs> Eyelash extensions, that's a thing of the past, along with those beautiful nails that mostly girls get. Now, not to say guys don't get pedicures, manicures, facials too, right? Not me, uh, I'm all natural all the time. Very alpha. But there are some guys out there that do get this as a maintenance thing, and there's, that's totally okay. But uh, for you guys, if you're like me, you guys are getting a little bushy in the back, you guys are kind of looking like a werewolf and not feeling like you're, you're yourself, uh, or maybe you'd be losing a little confidence looking at yourself in the mirror like, man, I definitely need a haircut. I'm looking a little shaggy there, right? Don't forget, girls, now we all know, you know, the waxing of the mustache, oh. you got a little fun going oh. on, a little beard and stuff, you know? <laughs> the bearded be lady. Let's be real, okay? Uh, just listen, there, there are solutions to some of this. For instance, with that, tweezers, you have all the time on the planet, True. sit there. True. My best thing that I do, specifically me, is I'll sit by the window and I'll open up the blinds I can have a really, really good lighting on my uh, face and I'll do it like that. Yeah. So, you know, there is other things you can do for your roots. You know, Walgreens and CVS is still open. So you can go there and get the box, yep. you know, yep. where you can color your own hair. But I mean, at the end of the day, it really does boil down to like loving someone naturally for their natural state. Oh yeah. So if, if you were shallow and like somebody just for their looks, you're getting the full uh, appearance of what that person really looks like now. So it's kind of one of those things where you go out and have a good time and you know the, the, the you, you wake up the next day and you're like, oh, I'm trying to be nice about it, okay? Like what happened here? Your yeah. whole face is on the pillow. Listen, this has probably <laughs> happened to both guys and girls out there. So we're not putting one gender, you know, over the boat. Or, or, guys or have two and guys, so, stuff. They fall off the bed. You know, or guys may need a haircut or they may need waxing too. You know, I've got some guys I've seen unibrows with mm -hmm. and, and they don't want that. <laughs> Along. You know, so that's another thing. Um, here's a pretty good tip that I've seen online for girls, especially, you know, for this. Maybe not cutting your hair, but if they want to get their roots done. Now, you can actually go out and still buy hair coloring in most states. And what I seen was, was some of this hairstylist, and this was really good. Some of the hairstylists, they obviously can't have the person in their non-essential business, but they can do a Zoom or a Skype or a FaceTime with the client. The client actually pays them, so they cash app them or PayPal them or whatever they do. Um, and that, that stylist actually stays on the phone or tablet or computer with them and walks them through the process of what they should actually be doing to like maybe get their roots back on straight or coloring or whatever it is. You know, and if you, you think you're self-sufficient enough to do this, that might be something you might want to reach out to your stylist or to another stylist about and maybe get those things done. Mm -hmm. uh, with pedicures and manicures. So if you're a male and you like this, great. You and your female partner can trade these services together, right? <laughs> you guys can work on each other and this will create a bond. If you're a male and you're like me, you're so alpha that you don't do it, you don't want to do it, that's okay too. 
you should do it just for your female. So at that point, you should be treating her like the queen that she is. And she will definitely love you more for it, I promise you. Yeah, that's special. Plus, yeah, you're going to get to see those, those toenails on point. Those, those you guys decide to paint it, please stay in the line. Yeah, there you go. You, you know, know, that's kindergarten stuff, so I think you guys <laughs> could be past that. But that, that's another thing. So that will boost self-confidence for your female partner. And obviously that boost of confidence, you know, they might feel sexier or feel better about things and you might get the benefits of it later, mm -hmm. right? Hint, hint. So, <laughs> so this is something you guys can incorporate in. Now for eyelashes, listen, I don't know, you girls might have to go do a tutorial on, on Google. You cannot do your own eyelashes. I There's mean, girls I guess out there that put magnetic ones on. They, they've got the, guys, you the Revlon get some, ones, some, right? They have the Latisse they got the, the, that you're growing, you know, you oh, grow your yeah. lashes, okay, on your own. So God forbid you were getting lashes and now you can't get them because there are a lot of lash artists out there that are not doing oh, yeah. lashes right now because oh, that's yeah. a pretty close, like, yeah. face Quarters, to face yeah. thing, okay? Absolutely. So, um, you know, they do have different lash growing serums that they use for eyebrows, they use it for lash lashes you can put it on there helps your natural lashes grow so that could be an option for you that's definitely a substitute if you guys want are you females or males if you want help growing your eyelashes we do offer latisse mm -hmm. so that's to put that's fda approved to put on your eyelashes so they do grow right so at that point all you guys got to do is call or text us at 727-389-3220 we can do a telemedicine visit where you can be anywhere in the country and be able to talk to our medical provider and they can actually prescribe this therapy for you guys so you guys can boost those natural lashes and then when you come out of this you know pandemic or you know crazy stuff that's going on with the coronavirus you will have natural lashes to at least start off with and they might be thicker and fuller than you had before and so. by the way when you have natural thick full lashes it's much easier to apply the lash extensions just for a fact for the future yeah. um because if you don't have any lashes there's nothing to attach it yeah to. <laughs> definitely have been learning a lot about these lashes and stuff like that through this i mean come on it's huge you know i get it like a lot of females especially females because i am a female but i, I am still working full time yeah. and some like i always do i'm a workaholic so i'm gonna find something to do but you know, a lot of people aren't going to work. So, you know, when usually you get up, you get ready, you do your makeup, you know, you get like all prepped because you got to go to work and, you know, obviously you got to present yourself. Presentation yeah. is everything. So, you know, it's important that you still do that. I'm sure it's probably easy for you guys to get out of bed. Really? You don't have to go to work or say that you're working from home, right? And you're still in your pajamas. All day. Or you might be in your moo moo or whatever it is that you guys moo -moo. wear, okay? Yeah. Throw your hair up in a bun and then, you know, you got little <laughs> frizzies everywhere. And you're like, hey, babe, you know? Yeah. So it's it's nice, you know, just brush your hair, you know, throw the straightener, curling iron on it, whatever, you know, and just do it even just for yourself, yeah. you know, just for yourself. Yeah. Guys out there, please make sure that you are telling these women that they look pretty. Uh. I mean, it doesn't take much. Be like, honey, you look pretty today. John does that to me all the time, even after 12 years. Um, I don't know, even on days that I'm looking super, super busted. Gotcha. He'll still say, wow, you look so pretty today. I love you. And I'm like, oh. Thanks so much. That was one thing. So I, I did, you know, when I met Sharice and she was 21 years old when I met her um, at that point and I was 25. So when we met, you know, Sharice had natural eyelashes, natural hair, no extensions. Always had my nails done. She had her nails done, you know, at that point. Um, and even before that point, that was before her breast augmentation. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'd seen Sharice and loved Sharice for her natural self right away. So there was no change if she ever did any of these other things. I always told her that she don't really need it, you know? And so there's a lot of things you might not need, but you might do just to, you know, want to make yourself feel better or make, you know, make your partner I'm love like, you. Whatever. Better, I right? definitely yes, need that. my breast augmentation. <laughs> <laughs> No, in all seriousness, guys, seriously, it does. It's important that you do love your significant other because, you know, who knows what the, what what they're feeling inside. They may not share yeah. that information with you or be open enough to be able to tell you that they're not feeling good about themselves because they can't go to Man. the nail salon Man. and they got all their nails all looking yeah. sorts of ways. You know, the best thing to do is, and on that point, I would say, listen, right now you're really finding out if that's going to be your lifelong partner because <laughs> you're with them 24-7. So at that point, you're really seeing... Do I really love this person? That's the first thing. So hopefully, you know, you know, nothing bad happens, but at that point, you're really gonna learn who your partner is inside and out, all the way around here, okay? Yeah, that's your professional um, here. The other, other point to that subject is, you know, even if you are at home all day long, it's good to stay in a routine. Mm -hmm. Waking up, taking a shower, brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, like Sheree said. And you know, you don't, maybe change clothes out of the pajamas, 
that actually the mindset, if you keep that mindset, you'll be productive. Mm -hmm. If you stay in that mindset of going downstairs in your pajamas all day, not to say that one day is not okay, but every day like that, mm -hmm. you're gonna get in that mindset and it's gonna keep taking you down. And that's how people do get depressed. They're not they're not an active life set, they have no routine. And that's what a lot of people I think are feeling out there right now. They don't know how to stay in that routine because they usually were forced out the door to go work. Now they're forced in the house to stay home. So at that point, find a routine, get with a good productive routine. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of ways you guys can do that. We cover this in a lot of different videos. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really essential for you guys to do is get into a productive, healthy routine. One way or another, whether it's you know cooking you know better meals for yourself, it's for exercising inside the house a little bit. If you weren't doing that, it's with growing a bond between you, your family, and your loved ones. So that's that's another big one, right? Mm -hmm. And that leads us to our I was second gonna say, topic. Routine. That yeah. leads us to the second topic. Right? You like how I just roll right into that? I was already topic, thinking right? it. So okay, I went. So <laughs> I wasn't thinking it just comes natural to me. <laughs> but all right, so the, the second topic is is the chores and tasks at home. You guys should be sharing these chores and tasks, especially mm -hmm. if you're both home right now. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you have kids and you're homeschooling, or you're doing dishes, or you're doing laundry, or you're cleaning up the house after yourselves. Um, you know, usually there's one breadwinner that usually goes out all day and works. Now, not to say that most households don't have two breadwinners that went out and worked, okay? Mm -hmm. But at that point, what happens is, is usually one person, it's usually, Offsided. It's a lot of times offsided, right? That, that one person is doing majority of those household chores and stuff like Washing that. Washing dishes, doing yeah. all the dinners, doing all the laundry. I mean, especially right now with these kids being home, and I'm sure plenty of you can relate to that. Especially me with Peter being home, it's been really tough because. I don't know, I mean, this sounds really bad, but I don't know fifth grade work. I don't know why they're teaching them how to do it like this and why there's, you know, it's not the same as when I learned in fifth grade, how I was taught is not the same way he's being taught. So I'm looking at it in a totally foreign, different yeah. language to me on there. So, you know, it's, you gotta remember that, you know, everything is new, but it is nice to split these different duties because, you know, let's just say that your wife is cooking and cleaning and doing laundry it might be helpful if you help the little ones with their homework or right. help them walk them through the process of what they need to do. Right. So it's important that you guys split that. I do hear that quite often. That's probably one of the biggest complaints I've heard, you yeah. know, in relationships is that one person is doing more than the other. And it is a lot of times it's with people that are, are both working. Yeah. So, you know, you're both working. Let's say you're both working nine to five, nine to six, whatever it might be. The kids go to daycare, you pick up the kids. Now you guys are both home. Now on the weekends, with the duties you know it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to cook all the dinners out there guys but you know it's nice to split it if somebody cooks dinner then you do the dishes even once in a while yeah. so it's not even something you gotta do every day but once in a while and i guarantee your partner is gonna love you more for that mm -hmm. and they're gonna recognize that trust me so they will so and they'll appreciate it like she said you know and they won't get resentment they won't build resentment some people mm -hmm. build resentment about these things mm -hmm. and some people are not vocal and they don't communicate mm -hmm. it's a hot word we say it almost every Cupid's corner. Communication is key. And that's in business, in life, in relationships, and whatever you do. Mm -hmm. If you don't communicate, don't think the other person is a mind reader and they're automatically don't have a crystal ball. Re read your mind. You're upset. You feel this way. You don't like this. You got to communicate. And that's not to be abrasive. You don't have to communicate abrasive, but you want to communicate so they understand um, and they get your side of it. So, you know, they're not doing it again or they understand that it's got to go into a different direction. So that's a big one. Don't become complacent and don't, you know, your, your partner, if they're doing most of these things, don't just automatically feel like, oh, that's that's their job and that's it. You know, that's not that's not how relationships work. Mm -hmm. That's not how partnerships work, okay? Not to say that some partnerships say, hey, listen, you're gonna do this and you're gonna do this, and that's what they're responsible for. Mm -hmm. But it's always good for that partner to be a teammate. I gotta give John some credit right? here, because listen, when I first met John, and even to this day, because he is Greek, and Greek is, you know, they're very, oh. <laughs> they're very old school usually, you know, like females have this, males have this, you know, this person does the trash, this person does the dinners, and this person, you know, does all the female work, let's just say. So, but every single day for the past 12 years, John 
has helped with anything. I mean, it could be even getting Peter ready for school, okay? So it's important that you share the duties. It's, it's I can't even express to you, and I'm not saying it because he's sitting right there next to me, but <laughs> it does mean everything to me. I don't always tell him like, thank you know, you. thank you so much for, yeah. you know, being so awesome, but you know, he is awesome. And you know, it's, it does, it's recognized by your significant that. other. I love you. So at, at that point, listen, I, I don't ever think of it like that. You know, I think of, and this was taught to me at a very young age. If you can't do something for yourself, don't think that you should ask somebody to be doing it for you, okay? Don't expect somebody to be able to do it for you. So, my example is this. As a boy, you learn to do laundry, you learn to cook your own meals, you learn to take care of yourself, okay? And at that point, when you get married, then you can ask your partners to do those things for you. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not to say that they're gonna do all those things for you and you might have to do it for yourself afterwards, but don't expect somebody to do it if you can't do it for yourself. And I try to teach Peter that. So learn these things for yourself. Be able to do it for yourself. That way, listen, if it's not the right partner out the door, you can not, do it on your own. You can do it on your own, right? Listen, I yourself, John, you I couldn't, do I couldn't it on cook. your own. I couldn't cook. He had to teach me how to cook. And it's only because I worked two jobs and went to school, so I have a reason and an excuse, okay? No excuse. That's an excuse. No excuse. <laughs> but, you know, he did. He taught me how to cook. So it's teamwork. At the end of the day, teamwork. Yeah, so yeah, we wanted to bring these two subjects to you guys, you know, about the presentation, you know, about, you know, maybe not be able to get some of these maintenance things, beautician things out there, and some tips and tricks maybe you can call your stylist about. Also, sharing the chores, sharing these tasks, being a real true team, not just a partnership, but a team that helps each other out in their time of need. So this has been a great Cupid's Corner with you guys. Uh, we appreciate every time you guys tune in and we love the feedback. So keep it coming, guys. We love you and thank you for the support. I'm John again. I'm Sharice and we will see you next Sunday at 11.